Hello and welcome. Currently, our chatbot is not really interactive. We're able to ask one single question, get a response, and that's the end of the conversation. What we are going to be doing in this lesson is modify our code so that we can have a real conversation, meaning we can ask new things after the first prompt and we can dive deeper into the responses that the bot provides to us, which is the way that you use uh, ChatGPT on the web. Uh, version. So essentially, we need to be running all of this code for as long as the conversation is taking place. In order for us to do that, we're going to put everything inside of, of a loop. And it's going to be an infinite loop. We're going to let the user press uh, a, a certain character for the conversation to finish. And what we're going to be doing in each iteration of the loop is capture the user input, and then we're going to add something here. We're going to quit the loop. If the user presses, uh, let's say, Q or types exit, let's say Q, um, then we're going to prepare the prompt, send the API call, uh, share the response in the console or display. But then what we need to do is we actually need to take that response and add it to the full conversation because the way chat GPD works is that each API call needs to have the full conversation for you to get the next response. That is, if you ask um, chat GPD, for example, uh, what, what's the weather like um, in Arizona? And it tells you it's sunny. If you then want to ask, should I wear sunscreen? You're going to have to send a chat GPD the whole conversation. You're going to have to send it the first prompt. So how's the weather in Arizona? You're going to have to send it the initial response you received from, from it, and then your new question. So essentially, we need to be expanding the conversation after each interaction. But uh, to do that, we're going to type messages.append, and we are going to pass the last message that we received. We're going to add that to our conversation. So in this manner, we are um, expanding our conversation as it, as it progresses. To give you an, an idea of what this looks like, I'm going to be uh, printing these messages on the screen. And also, I want to show you the API reference, which might provide further clarification. So this is the chat API reference. And you can see here that a response has this message object, which is essentially a, an object, a dictionary, that has the role assistant, because that's the response we got, and the content. So what we are doing here is just add that into our conversation. So let's try it out and see if it works. So I'm going to ask, let's go with that same example. How is the weather in Arizona? It's telling us that it doesn't have that information and it's going to ask us about which city in Arizona. And then we get this as the, the message response. You can see that there is the user content. And then we get this, uh, this one from OpenAI, which has the response as well as the role assistant. So now I can just type, for example, Phoenix. And it should know that I had firstly asked about Arizona and that now we're kind of drilling down about Phoenix. So it's, tell, it's telling me now that it cannot provide real-time updates, but it's known you know, to be hot desert climates. And you can see that this um, messages list, it's growing, and now it's including all of the previous conversations. So it starts with the initial one, and then it's adding all of the responses. So you can see that this is working as expected. What I'm going to do is remove that printout, as well as um, incorporate this um, user input so that we can terminate the loop. So if if user input um, is equal to Q, we are going to exit this program. Let's try it out to see if it works. I'm going to type Q, and that should be it. So it, it's exit. OK, that's all for this lesson. We've recreated ChatGPT in the terminal. We can have any kind of interactive conversations here and get any responses and, as, and, and conversations that are as long as the model's own capabilities will allow. So that's all for this lesson. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next lesson.